Hey everyone, after a long break, welcome to this video. In this video, I'm gonna talk about the new and nice feature of Marmoset Toolbag 5 for texture artists and whoever use Substance Painter in the workflow, including UDIMS and Bevel Shader in Material and the Baking System. So, let's do that. Learning Substance Painter is easier than ever. Hey all Substance lovers, texture seekers and awesome future artists. Welcome to ultimate course for learning Substance Painter from zero to hero. Ready to learn how to texture with different projects? Substance Master released a brand new course for those who want to learn to texture with Substance Painter. In this course, we cover from preparing the model to rendering different projects, different challenges. If you want to level up your skill in texturing, come and check the Substance Master Ultimate course for learning Substance Painter. Okay, right now we are in the Marmoset Toolback 4 and we want to compare the workflow that we have in 4 and 5. So, in 4, we need to separate the mesh into different material ID or separate meshes to have this power to use UDIMS. And for creating UDIMS material, we need to create different material, as you can see in here, and assign each material to each part manually. But right now, in Marmoset 5, we have a miracle. In Marmoset Toolback 5, we just need to create a material, a single one and change the UV to UDIMS. And now if I select my UDIMS texture, as you can see, just the first one and press open, everything is on the material without any extra step. I just create my material and put all the texture into the inputs and it works perfectly. Now we can use UDIMS in Marmoset without any extra pain. In Marmoset Toolback 5, we have UDIMS inside the material, so we can use UDIMS. But in the baking system, Marmoset Toolback 5 gives us this feature too. So we can bake high poly to the low poly and our low poly model can have the UDIMS. And that's perfect because the baking system inside the Marmoset is super fast, accurate and efficient. So let's test this feature too. And I just load the Blade of Chaos low poly model and it's time to load the high poly version too. Okay, now it's time to run a big project. I should set a pass for the output. Okay, now I need to change the location of the low poly to the low folder and high to the high section. And we need to go to the big project and change the tiling mode from single texture set to the UDIM. And I suggest to you to change the bake mode from interactive to offline because in the interactive mode, the baking process is a real-time process it means when you change something it's going to bake again and it's super expensive when you have UDIMS or complex shape so let's go back to the tiles and and as we can see we have the UDIMS here and let's turn on the ambient occlusion along the normals and go here and press start and now we have the bake output and we can press on the preview material and as you can see the bake is done and it's perfect. Another great feature in Marmoset Toolback 5 is we can use Tri Planner directly in the material on our model. So as you can see, I just assign a texture to the albedo and assign the material to the model, but this model doesn't have any kind of UV, so we couldn't see the texture on the model. But now we can change the UV type to Tri Planner, and as you can see, we can have our texture on the model very easy. It means if your model doesn't have any kind of UV, you can use material on that very easy and very fast. Let's check it. I just add the clay modeling material to this model and change the texture to Tri Planner. And as you can see, now we have project the material on the model very fast and very easy. In Marmoset Toolback 5, we have a next level feature that is a bevel shader. It means you can smooth your edges on the low poly mesh very easy and very fast, okay? And we can bake it in the normal map channel, curvature, and ambient occlusion. So I'm going to show you how to bake it in this video. But right now, let's focus on the bevel shader. So 
Basically, it works on any type of material that you have inside Marmoset Toolbag. For example, let's bring some material from library. I'm going to add aluminum scratched on the surface. Okay, that's great. And now in the material setting, I can change the surface to bevel, increase the bevel sample to 32 and increase the bevel width. And as you can see, it works perfectly. And you can throw away the high poly mesh for baking and all the pain that we have inside the baking process. Okay, now it's time to learn how to bake bevel shader on the low poly model. So for this purpose, we need to duplicate the model that we have already and create a new material. For the first material, I'm going to call it low. And for the second one, I'm going to call it high bevel. Okay, now let's give the high bevel to the second model that we have and change the surface to bevel. I'm going to hide the first one to see what's happening here and let's increase the bevel sample that we have here and the bevel we do something like 15. Okay now we have the bevel on the model on the edges and that's perfect and now we need to bake it on the low poly model that we have. So let's run a bake project and at the first let's set a path. Okay now it's time to change the setting for the bake project. For the first option now we have an interactive or real-time baking process when we change something in the material or in the bake setting. In here, we have a single model with a single UV and it's a small, so we can run in an interactive mode. But if you have UDIMs or a big model with complex shapers, I suggest you to change the bake mode to offline. So let's go to the interactive and I'm going to change the setting. For example, change sample to 32 and in here I need curvature and ambient occlusion at the same time and for the normal because I want to export it to substance painter and see what we could have over there I'm going to change the Philip by or normal format here that's great and we need to select the low and high model so a scope one is high mesh and the scope is the low one okay and I'm going to select the low and change the max offset for the cage for example a small amount of the number I think this one is great because we have just only the low poly model not any high poly that we want to match with the cage so everything is ready and let's Let's select the bake project and click on the preview material so uh, as we can see now we have the bevel shader on the material in the normal section so we can see what's happening if we change the bevel parameter in the high bevel material that we already assigned it to the scope one as a high poly mesh so for this reason we need to come here and select this option so we can preview the normal map that we already bake on the model and if I change the bevel width we can it's updating so let's increasing yeah and we can check it with the curvature to this so after setting the right amount of the bevel width on the material for example in here I go for the 12 and everything is fine on the low poly mesh it's time to bake and transfer the normal map and amb ambient occlusion to the substance painter so let's do that okay now we are in substance painter and we want to import all the texture that we bake from Marmoset toolbag with the bevel shader into Substance Painter. So I'm going to open the texture set setting and in the mesh maps, I just load the normal in here, curvature in here, ambient occlusion and the thickness. And as you can see, we have the effect of the bevel shader on the edges without spending hours to create high poly and bake it from high to low and fix the issue that we have we just set a shader increase or decrease the bevel width and just press bake and it took just only two minutes these are the features that I like it a lot and use them in daily works and there are great changes in texturing part but I still prefer to use substance painter for the texturing part but you can check other features and changes in the website of the Marmoset toolbag you can search it in the Google and find it very easy and I hope you liked the video. If so, hit the like button. Don't forget to share your mind in the comment section and subscribe our channel for the future contents. Be safe, be creative, bye.